This is biasing circuit. One second, guys. Okay. This is the actual circuit diagram. Okay, let's see the design. Input to output will be ready here. Okay. Here we have connected two resistors and a capacitor in between. For that capacitor, we have given an input that is from DRB negative to the capacitor and the positive of the DRB is given to the positive of the signal generator yes. negative of the signal generator is given to the uh, uh, oscilloscope negative so side of oscilloscope hey. and the positive hmm. side of oscilloscope is given to the signal generator of positive side of the oscilloscope and the positive side of the power supply is given to the tra uh, transistor collector that is 12 volts VCC and the negative side is given to the ground mm. always and common ground yeah. Yeah. this is the common ground the resistor is connected to the emitter of the second transistor and to the ground and the capacitor is connected to it the resistor is 3.3k and the capacitor is 0 0.7 0 0.47 okay, there are two transistors and uh, this is the it's called emitter follower that's because both emitter junctions are connected together that's why okay. this is the input okay. the output this is the input wave first for setting input that is one Kilohertz. Kilohertz. Mm. That is, we have set the signal generator to 1 kilohertz. Mm. Now you can see that this is 1 volt peak to peak. We have set the amplitude to 1 volt peak to peak. Mm. Now we will set the output. The DRBs should be to the maximum. That is, we set. We have to set to the maximum. We do max. Hmm. Hello, come here. No more. Then. Then I'm very happy. Okay. Guys, make sure you guys don't touch the transistor. Keep it up away from the transistor. All right. Output. One old pick to pick. Hey! So guys, we are here at the output 1 kilohertz and it goes to. Uh, we are going to vary. 50 hertz. Mm -hmm. Alright. And the pick to pick value is. So 1 and a We are getting around. Uh, 0 0.8. 0 0.8. 0 0.8. 0 0.8. And we'll increase to 100 hertz. 50, 100, 150, 100, 100, 200, okay. 100 hertz. We are getting around 0.8, 9, 9. 0.9, okay. And we are giving 150 hertz. Okay. We are getting around uh, almost 1 volt peak to peak. Yes. This is the standard 1 volt peak to peak. If we rise again for 200 hertz. Direct of next 1k. 200 at my 1k. So uh, we almost same. got Still same. 1 volt peak to peak. Now we go to 1k. Let's go to 1.5k. Alright. The same 1 hertz. Still same. That's good. That's good. 2 kilohertz it has been decreased so the 2 kilo it's not decreased decreased okay yeah, it's decreased so this is the 
actual output. So you're getting the output. So it's fine. Thanks. Well, guys. So this is the output. So we're gonna see the graph. Look at the graph flows. Yeah, we have plotted this. So we it just got to increase at this certain stage and we'll just remain and the at one same. Then it becomes stagnant. And again, it will decrease four point. Look, two mega like that, Nine. Two mega in full cut mega. Okay, from the start itself, it just rises and then it decreases to the normal value. So this is it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Back with another video very soon. Peace. And darling, to the middle follower. No, class fish already more quality. Okay. Still under the light, 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 ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಅದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಒನ್ ಓಲ್ಟ್ ಇದ್ದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಒನ್ ಓಲ್ಟ್ ಇದ್ದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಅವಾಗ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಅದು ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಕಿಲೋ ಹಟ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇಕ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಇಕ್ಕೊಂಡು ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಇಂದ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದಾಗ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಯಾವುದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇದೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂತ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಸೋನ್ ಪ